Hi everyone. A quick video about the things that I consider wow at this moment in time. Let me start with my little Tolumnia here. I believe that is a no ID in my books. But isn't she cute? First time bloomer. Look at the size of that bloom. I can't reach. She's too far away. But she is bigger than all my other blooms that I have had so far. Minus the pink brish. Welcome to this video of quick wows. Like something like this. You know. Wow. <laughs> Oh, the joy of this orchid, Dendrobium tortile. Yeah, this is, this is something definitely fits into the category of wow. And I have a cloudy day, so we can really, really appreciate the details of this orchid with the pink spikes to boot. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go to the other ones. If you've been with me long enough, you know my love-hate relationship with Leopoldii. I love Leopoldii. Leopoldii hates me. Until now. Look at this new growth on my third seedling of Leopoldii. Isn't that insane? So happy, you guys. When I saw how well it's developing, I seriously, seriously went, wow. Love it. Third time's a charm? I hope. But there's more. Let's go and look at that. Renanthera citrina spike pointing right at the camera. Big one. Biggest ever. Super pleased with that. Next up. Humor me. Let's see if I can show you. I know it's tiny, but my goodness, for me, it was like, wow, look at that. This is a Leopoldii cross. I don't remember the other cross name, but it's a Cattleya Leopoldi. I crossed with something, a seedling that I've had since the beginning of this collection here. And yeah, I'm not messing with that tag because there's a root back there. One of the slowest growers, but still it has that Leopoldi. I, I've got to make sure that you survive. Can you see that little tiny new growth coming? I'm sorry, I'm shaking a little bit. Too much coffee. But there on the right growth with the remnants of a sheath tucked in there is a new growth coming. Yes. Wow. I can't believe it. Dendrobium unicum. Check this out. We are going to have some blooms from a cane I was not expecting blooms on. And there's already a new growth starting there. Rock and roll for Unicum this season. And now I'm going to show you something. And I believe I have been very, very lucky because normally I don't buy back-to-back -back replacement orchids unless they're super special. But let me show you something. So, that's better. This was also bought as a Unicum because I wasn't sure about this one down here because it had a snapped cane when it arrived and I was scared I was going to lose it. Yes, dendrobians are robust, but there is a limit to them as well. So I bought a replacement plant and I got this as unicum. Um, no, the canes are completely different. So I have no clue what this is, <laughs> but it produced a tiny little new growth. And um, it's progressing quite nicely. But this is not a unicorn at all. Maybe it's an orange bloom. Sorry about not focusing here. Maybe it's an orange bloom. Maybe that's why they thought, okay, throw that into the basket. But nope. 
So I'm very, very wow happy <laughs> that this one is going to do well because I know I have a unicorn there and we're going to get blooms. Hey, <laughs> good on you, little fella. Good on you. So happy. Thank you so much. And there's something else. Dendrobium anosmum. My languishing dendrobium anosmum. Can you see that? Is it a figment of my imagination? Right there. Let's see, I can hardly see the screen. There, there we go. It is not a figment of my imagination. It is a new growth. Not a substantial size growth, but a growth, which is super important because I need the roots of that growth, whatever it can give me. Wow! <laughs> yes, this is great. And let me show you another wow. Not a figment of my imagination either. This is my Trichocentrum tigrinum. It was a discount plant and it looked like something the cat had dragged in backwards, chewed up, ripped up, chomped apart. I'm losing a lot of the leaves in the back here which is fine, they're all spent and done. I'm okay with that, but do you see that? That, 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 that is what I am looking for since two years. It's done, it's done nothing but, you know, stall, be grumpy and unhappy for two years. So I'm hoping that whatever leaf loss I've got in the back here is actually energy being taken to this. This is Big wow. <laughs> Trachocentrum to greenum. I don't want to mess this up because whatever happens to it from here on in, if that doesn't make it, then the whole orchid won't make it. It's really, really crunch time for this one. And I'm hoping this is not stem rot because I'm seeing the leaves are going yellow at the base as opposed to from the tip. So hurry up, hurry up. I need you. Good start though good start. Signs like this are vital for me. And I have something else to show you. My Victoria Regina looking lush, looking gorgeous, like the queen that she is. Look at what is going on down here. Are we going to bloom or are we going to bloom? Check this out. I have had blooms from her before. Everything was great, beautiful blooms, but not in this abundance. This is an orchid that is now acclimated. And yes, I want her off an organic mount, but no way am I touching her until it is high noon. She has now come unto her own. She knows where she belongs. And look at those buds coming out. I don't know. There's two clusters, well, two nubbins forming here. One there and one there. But check this out right here as well. One, what I can see on camera, I'm not even going to waste time counting. But my goodness, talk about action stations. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> there's even one up here. Oh yeah, Victoria, Victoria, Victoria. You make me happy and I'm so glad I'm making you happy. Isn't that impressive? Isn't that just a sight to behold? Gorgeous canes and lots and lots of nubbin activity. This, this is spectacular in my eyes absolutely spectacular <laughs> I think I have something else I want to show you just one more and then we'll wrap it up we are in business with the cymbidium here comes the first new growth this is amazing this gives me the opportunity to see if having cut the flower spikes off a little bit sooner will give me bigger growth than I had last year this is wow already I didn't have that last year so soon 
this is great. I love it. Absolutely love it. But wait, I have one more thing and then I, just one more thing. This tiny little orchid here, tiny, tiny little orchid has not really been very proactive in the last maybe 18, 20 months. But look at her go now. You see all those roots coming? This is my Catlia Velutina. This for me is as much a wow as everything the Victoria Regina is throwing out right now. This is big time. So we're gonna be really, really protective of those roots so that she can grow and start to grow out another growth that is a little bit bigger than the previous one. Just wow. So thank you, everybody. I know that maybe this would be like, uh, what? Huh? But for me, these are signs, vital signs that I really, really look forward to. Especially when you have been in doubt about certain aspects of ongoings. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I hope that your orchids are also wowing you at this point in time. And if you have any wow factors that you would like to share, then my goodness, let me know in the comments below and hope you all have a wonderful day and stay safe, please. Take care. Bye.